Hello! I know it's been a while and I'm sorry, but life has just gotten a little hectic around here. So here I am. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm sitting here on this couch going, why am I making a video when I could be doing this? <sighs> that would be awesome. But that's not gonna happen because I have three little kids and too much stuff to do. I won't even turn the camera around and show you what a mess our living room is. Like I could give you a little, ah, no, no, no. It's a mess. There's toys everywhere. <laughs> um, so this is like an awkward hand thing. I'm holding my water right here because I don't want to put it on my lap because it's got condensation and it's going to get my shirt all wet, which it already is. I didn't want to have a weird wet mark, but I guess that's kind of a moot point now that you've seen it. So hold on. That's good. So I'm back. We've been gone for a while. Why? I'll show you a little video clip and explain it. So here's a little clip that I filmed, I want to say the day after Memorial Day? I think it was the day after Memorial Day, it'll say on the video. And this will explain why the last month or so we've been kind of MIA. So I will be back in a few minutes to talk to you. Enjoy. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning after Memorial Day and I have a little something to share with you guys. Can you keep a secret? I guess it won't be a secret by the time you guys see it. Um, but the last probably two weeks, I've been feeling really weird and kind of nauseous and just not myself. And there's a couple of things that happen um, when I'm pregnant that don't have anything else. Like I tend to stumble over my words. My brain does not work right. It's hilarious, but it's a good indicator. And so for the last two weeks, I've been telling Greg that I swear, I swear, I, I think I'm pregnant. But no tests were showing up positive and... It would have been really early. <laughs> I mean, it would have been like, I knew a good week and a half ago. <laughs> Anyways, this morning, we finally, the other night we finally went and got a digital test because we tried the line ones and oh, you can never tell, I should have learned by now. You'd think after three kids, you'd know just to get the digital test. So they were all coming out negative or what I thought was negative. And so this morning I grabbed one and I was really surprised because I thought, oh, I'm just losing my mind. <gasps> Look what it says. Ignore my dirty floor by my toilet. We're pregnant. Ah! The stick's excited. Oh, it's just 7 a.m. and I'm loopy. So yeah, we're pregnant again. Yay! <laughs> I really am excited. That was just an obnoxious yay. So we are gonna have number four. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. This is a lot sooner than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, that's the way it goes. So it starts now. Um, as it is, it looks like I will probably be due at the beginning of February, which is we kind of wanted, originally we had wanted to have a baby in like end of February, March-ish, around our, the time of our son's birthday. Um, but this one will be due at the beginning of February, so we're super excited and just wanted to share that with you guys. So I hope you guys are having a good day and I'm gonna go take a little nap because I don't have any work this morning. <laughs> and then my mom's gonna come over and we'll hang out with her and I'll probably tell her, no, well, I don't know. We, we're gonna do a little something special for my husband's family to tell them the surprise. So we'll let them know this weekend, but I just wanted to share, I'm not gonna post this till later because it's still, we're not telling anyone right now, but just wanna share with you guys and let you know that we're pregnant, the little stick little pea stick says so because these have never been wrong for us it shakes it rattles i'm really over amused hope you guys have a good day and we will talk to you later bye and now you know the secret's out <laughs> um i didn't want to announce it in a video sooner because we didn't really tell anyone most of our pregnancies we tell everyone right away it's just i can't keep a secret this one though, I've kind of kept it to myself. We didn't really, we told our families and that, but I thought we didn't tell anyone. And I just went in for my eight week appointment yesterday. It was yesterday, wow. Time is just woo, right now. Hold on, I'm gonna set my cup down. I gotta switch hands. Hopefully this side looks just as good as that one. So I went for my eight week appointment yesterday and everything was fine. I went in for an appointment about five and a half weeks and they couldn't, they couldn't get a heartbeat or anything just because it was too soon. So I guess I wanted to make sure that everything was okay before I said something to everyone. 
not that I had any reason to worry, but you never know. So we're in fact pregnant with number four. Everything is great. It's got a heartbeat. Everything looks good. Um, I have been nauseous beyond nauseous. Is it nauseous? Maybe it's nauseated, I think is the technical. Nauseous, I don't think is the actual right usage of that. This is not the time for that discussion. I apologize. Anyways, morning sickness, all day sickness, <laughs> terrible. It's gotten worse with every pregnancy and Nicole was, my third one was by far the, I thought, oh my gosh, that was terrible. And this one has been way worse. <laughs> so it's been fun. <laughs> and another little tip that a lot of people don't, I guess not really a tip, little secret a lot of people don't know. When you've had three kids, and you're pregnant with your fourth, there's none of this, oh, it didn't really work with my third pregnancy either, but you know, the first pregnancy, you can wear regular clothes till probably about, I wanna say four months before anyone notices. Second pregnancy, a little bit less. Third pregnancy, eh. this one, I look like I'm like four months pregnant. It's terrible, and I'm only like two months. I mean, and I'm thinner than I was with my last two but I just, I look pregnant. So I'm wearing maternity clothes. It's uncomfortable to wear regular pants anyways, but I had the maternity clothes. They're like a size too big, but I don't really have the money to go buy new clothes. So I'm wearing all the stuff and hoping it all stays up and I don't have an embarrassing moment in public. Um, so yeah, I look like I'm a lot more pregnant, which is why I'm sitting down. I'm not gonna embarrass myself like that. I don't believe in the belly shot stuff. So, that's why we've been kind of gone is I just have not been feeling that great and I've been so tired and it's just been crazy but you know it is what it is and you know everyone who's pregnant with their first or even their second kid I remember it was you just took naps you were tired I'm gonna go take a nap it doesn't work that way or we had money like if I was hungry and I was like the big one my first pregnancy I was craving pickup sticks all the time and we had the money eat out just eat whatever sounded good not so much anymore. Now it's like either I eat what's here or I starve. And a lot of times I don't want to eat what's here. <laughs> so it's been rough. But you know, I'm making it through and catch a couple minutes of quiet when I can and take a little nap. But. Oh, here comes Freddie. What's up? What else? I mean, a dirt, I want a dirt track. So a dirt track? Yeah, because I, cause I don't have rear spring cars with rubber tires because the dirt truck doesn't need cars with rubber tires. Oh. Hey, are you going to eat your chicken? I'm going to at the table right here. Oh, okay. Are you going to hang out with me out here? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm saying, you want to say hi to all the people? Mm-mm. No? No. Carol's at karate camp for the day and Nicole's napping. So me and Fred, you're hanging out here together. Right? Are we buddies? Yeah, he's smiling. We're buddies. We're buddies because I gave him extra treats today because he was here playing by himself while Nicole was sleeping. He had a muffin, a Costco muffin. Was it delicious? Yeah, it was. I gave him ice cream. I could again. Yeah, I gave him all the good stuff. I Make want, him feel a little special. I want more ice cream. I don't think there's any more, dude. I think you finished it. I want more ice cream. I know. I'm sorry. So anyways, I'll make this video a little bit shorter. So that's what's going on. Um, are we, well, should you, you want to tell them? I told them that we have a baby in my belly. Are you excited? Do you want it to be a boy or a girl? Boy. A boy, but are we gonna be mad if it's a girl? No. Are we still gonna love it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we have one girl called Nicole. Uh huh. We already have one girl called Nicole and one girl called Carol and one boy called Freddie. And one boy called Freddie. Uh huh. It's a baby. Huh. Uh oh, you got barbecue sauce. Never gonna lick it. Oh, I got, <laughs> that's all, look at that smile. <laughs> so stick a coat. <laughs> ah. So anyways, we're going to go finish cleaning up a little bit. I got to pick Carol up at five o'clock from karate. Then we have some friends coming over. They called and asked if they could swim in our pool. We fixed our pool. It's awesome. So they're going to come over and swim in the pool. And I'm going to try and keep my kids from going out there. So we'll see if that well, happens. Well, Chelsea comes over. Oh, it's not her. That's his. The kids are taking swimming lessons from a girl at church. So, if, and no, it's not her. My train set on me. I will in a minute. So, but some of our friends are coming to swim with their kids because it's like 100 degrees here and people are starting to discover that we have a working pool. We've been living here for, excuse me, almost five years and no one knew because we never used it because it wasn't really working. And word's getting out. So, we're the people with the pool. 
Um, so yeah, so we're gonna just kind of finish up this nice hot day, have the air conditioning on, and we hope you guys are having a good day. And hopefully I'll start getting back to vlogging more. I mean, I still feel crummy, but I'm a little bit more with it. I'm feeling a little bit more like I can feel normal and, you know, grab the video camera more often. The kids have been asking about it too. So hope you guys are having a great day and we will talk to you soon. But as I shake the camera, oh, bye.